Before we start this video, it's important to keep in mind what's going on within Activision Blizzard regarding ongoing allegations about the work culture. The ongoing lawsuit from the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing against the company is over-reported toxic workplace culture. The bulk of this suit focuses on violations of the state's civil rights and equal pay laws, specifically regarding the treatment of women and other marginalized groups. To learn more about the proceedings thus far, including details listed in the lawsuit against Activision Blizzard, please check out the link in the description below. Hello friends and welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am your host Alex Stadnick and I am joined by my, one of my favorite people, John Carson. Hello sir. The Dark One has risen! <laughs> is that is that Deckard? I don't know. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank you. I've, not, I've decided that Deckard Cade sounds like Bane's father doing a Bane impression. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo is near. What are we playing, John? I, oh, we are playing Diablo too. Uh, right. Wow, that was a terrible Deckard Cade. Uh, <laughs> we're playing Diablo two Resurrected. Uh, this is the uh, the re remake remake remaster from Vicarious Visions. Uh, you may know them as the people who did the Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater 1 and 2 uh, remake from last year. And uh, they, I, you know what, Alex? They did a beautiful job on uh, recreating this classic game. I, uh, I, I, I think I agree. This is my first time playing sure. uh, Diablo 2. I'm a big Diablo 3 fan. Um, and so this, is, this was exciting to me uh, because it was both a history lesson but also in a new skin right and and we're starting off at the end of act one here um spoilers for act one and the final boss but i don't know many people who play diablo <laughs> explicitly for the story you know and then, it's 20 yeah. years 20 years yeah. gone by it's, it's fine I, uh, public domain yeah <laughs> yeah so um uh yeah so we're also looking at the assassin class today which is i understand it is kind of it wasn't in the uh beta or alpha and it, it came later to the actual 2000 version of diablo correct right that that's correct yeah it was originally in the, in the expansion um but it's it's actually a class that i've no, I haven't really given much time to myself, so this will be an interesting watch for the next few minutes. For sure, uh, she is uh, she's interesting. Uh, she is someone who uh, I really had to um, change up my tactics and my playstyle because I am usually, uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm from the school of tack where I like running in and just Be beating in everything. There. Yeah, Be beating everything it. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so she is very much, she has her claw, or she she can use swords and, and, bow, and bows and stuff like that, but she has uh, her claws that I'm using right now. Yeah. Um, and it's very much, um, she has to, you know, she has traps that she uses that, sure. that use her mana gauge. And they're really they're really fun to use. They they do really. There's some. I keep throwing out the lightning attack. There's some good AOE damage there. Um, I have a I'm fire. Seeing a of, I'm seeing a lot of zipping and dipping. That's oh yeah. Here. Well, because she is very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, squishy. Squishy. Yes. There thank you. you. Um, a fast cannon. <laughs> yeah. She very much. Like she can do some great damage, you know. I'm yeah. taking these 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 fools out in a couple of hits, but also too when things get when things get hairy, they get hairy really quickly. Um, and and you know when there are big groups of enemies that that roll in, especially when you get like the champion uh, enemy types and whatnot, uh, mm -hmm. you know you have to be really prepared because there was a couple of times where I just I ran into a door. And there was 30 guys and they absolutely wrecked me. And that happens a, a couple of times. Um, so it is the Diablo experience. <laughs> yes, Deckard. Um, so, uh, but I really like her and, and I'm a sucker for, I, I love like the Halo remakes or remasters because of what you just saw, the, the switching on the fly of the, the graphics. I think that's so cool. And I think they use that to great effect in this game yeah. as well. It's it's very it's jarring going back. Like I I almost didn't believe it at first. <laughs> I need to boot up like an original copy of this game, and then I like 
looked on YouTube for footage, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah, did look like this. What it looked like, uh, but the this game does a, a great job of like, this is what my memory remembers it looking like, mm -hmm. uh, and and just like making it look uh, obviously higher res. You're you're going up to 4K on on consoles and PC, and and mm -hmm. running at uh at uh, higher frame rates than I think it was like. 24 frames or something that the original game ran at so oh wow uh, they're they're doing some some cool uh witchcraft so uh since this is your your first time playing it um mm -hmm. do you see yourself diving in more are you gonna do you think you're gonna see it through so i don't know um i i think because this is my first time i'm a little bit more the nostalgia goggles aren't there quite as much sure. and for me there is some v moments where this game very much feels like a game made in 2000 yeah and, that, and that's you were asking us yesterday like hey does your inventory ever <laughs> increase or like yeah. no dude no I was like, I was like, what are you like, kidding you have, me you have a stash you sell stuff uh but yeah you're if you're gonna be picking up just about anything um, you're gonna be clearing out your stash every once in a while. Dan Tack and I have very have very different methods with this stuff. I'm very slow and methodical, and I will pick up everything and bring it back to town and sell it. See, uh, and, I, and I feel like the modern ARPG slash Diablo three has conditioned me for that. That's that like you know, right. or Torchlight, right? I feel like those games are very much like they let you collect everything and, right. and grab everything, whereas this just doesn't like i i'm so sick of seeing mana potions but then there's moments where it's like oh i really need these I really need it um, so it's like i was talking with uh i was talking with a friend about it because they had played the demo and and you know i like item management when it's something like resident evil where it, like it it builds the tension and it's like oh like this is a survival thing like i need to be cautious of what i i do here yeah and I, for me, I don't know, It's and it's entirely because of the era I started playing ARPGs is it feels more cumbersome to me than right. than than a gameplay thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, also, too, like, you know, there's been a couple of times where I've died because I've been accidentally been close to a doorway and I've been opening and closing the door instead of, you know, attacking the, the, the creatures in front of me. Um, yeah. You know, yep. it, it, it's very... It's very, you have to be very precise on where, like, your, it, uh, it's, it's auto aim isn't really great. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess you're using a controller, so clicking's not really uh, an issue. Not there. a thing, yeah. And I'm, um, I'm playing on PS5 here, just yeah, so it, people know. I would be rem remiss to say that uh, I do have some, some cl conflicting feelings about playing uh, this game currently with uh, all the Activision stuff that is Correct. happening with their, with their lawsuit and, sexual harassment claims and and uh all all of that jazz that's uh, been happening for months now so um i i'd say for those who are also conflicted with that it's okay not to play this game right now it is diablo 2 um if things clear up uh if uh you come to a place where you're like yeah i want to play some diablo cool this is a great version of diablo 2 uh and the best way to play it today yeah so for to sure put that out there yeah, definitely, which I, I appreciate. It is, you know, that is the the blessing and the curse of doing what they did with the ability to switch on the fly graphics modes, right? Because yep. it's basically running two versions of the game. So you can right. play this game entirely in, you know, the 2000s version, but that also it, means like it has the 2000s versions issues. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And it like what's one cool thing about the the old style is like it has the old style's graphic settings in there too so you can like swap between like oh do you want a perspective so it so it like does this weird 3d shift to make it look like it's it's more graphically powerful than it is but it just looks weird <laughs> yeah uh, you can change the resolution on that to like it's like 800 by 600 and then something even lower than that so oh, wow <laughs> um yeah the, you have some weird options in there and that's uh it's a cool thing to to have but. for sure now i we've talked about the assassin's class a decent amount you play necromancer correct i did yeah so the necromancer is more of a, a pet class um like pets and, and and demonic auras uh so i'm killing enemies and raising skeletons and raising uh 
clay golems to uh, <laughs> fight for me, and mm -hmm. I'm just like chilling out with them, just bashing people with uh, with like a scepter um, <laughs> or, or or a short staff, yeah. um, and letting letting my minions do the work. Uh, but also like I have things like bone armor that I'm putting on myself. Uh, there's other like projectiles that you can that you can get for spells. Um, and then you can put curses on your enemies to like uh, weaken them, so the, uh, like your your minions do more damage to them, or you do more damage to them. There's there's a bunch of different uh, trees that you can go down with the necromancer, but it's a it's a fun class to just like burn through hordes of enemies without having to worry about clicking on stuff as much. So yeah, for sure. And I think if I do come back to this, um, it'll be. A, barbarian or paladin or something where i can you know run into yeah. mobs and absolutely like annihilate them though i will say i i think the assassin is uh is satisfying in in her trap abilities and i i really enjoy that aspect of it and mm -hmm. once i learned how to play her more i i felt like i enjoyed the experience more so yeah and, um, and with, with any class in diablo it's you get through their their talent trees and it really just opens things up uh mm -hmm. like play around in there and you you'll find a, a way to play each class the way that you like so definitely well john i think this is a good look at diablo 2 resurrected uh it is out now i believe or, uh, yeah, as of today yeah as of today um so uh you know if if you're not feeling conflicted or you are it's it's available to you today so um basically on everything uh, playstation 5 4 xbox switch x s switch pc um uh it, there's a lot of a lot of places you can play this game so Absolutely. um Thank you so much for watching, John. Thank you for getting up early with me and uh, taking, getting, getting her done. Um, and uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we are only two months removed from the Activision Blizzard news. Uh, the SEC is now uh, getting involved. So if you, sure are. if you, if you're uh, wanting to stay up to date with the the most recent uh, events surrounding the company, uh, there's a link in the description below. So um, check that out. Uh, and uh, just be good to one another and we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.